Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Oh, why, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my home. Tell me if you know what movie that's from. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Kat. I'm a cool mom. I'm still here. You know, I haven't uploaded a video in a really long time, but that's because 2020 happened, and there's a lot of emotions going on in this as i'm sure is happening with you as well so let's chill out and talk about something that's fun and nice and relaxing and that is plants i have accumulated quite a few i was really inspired by jenna marble's video from last year where she was showing off her plants in fact i titled this video exactly the same way that she titled her plant tour video. So I thought today I'd take the opportunity while my kid is asleep and my husband is out to show you some of the beautiful house plants that I have managed to accumulate within a very short period of time. Now I wouldn't recommend getting this many plants all at once because I didn't do my research beforehand and I'm too lazy to do any more research now. So I don't really know how to care for most of these. And you will see that some of them are clearly showing signs of neglect. <laughs> with all that being said, let's start with some of my favorites and we will end with my absolute favorites. I'm a 30 year old lady. <laughs> Please don't mind the toy accumulation in my house. But let's start with some of my plants that I brought in from outside because it's getting kind of cold. This is an aloe vera, just your classic aloe plant. And he is thick. Damn boy, he's thick. And handsome. I absolutely love the freckles on there and of course it's useful for if you burn yourself you can just clip off a little little nub in here and you squeeze the gel out and it makes a burn feel better i love him he's absolutely bright and gorgeous has grown so much when i thought he was gonna die in our old apartment and this one here is also one of my favorite favorite favorites it is called a wandering jew and i know that that sounds very not politically correct i absolutely love how sparkly and glittery these leaves appear to be. They just are so bright and colorful. It is also overtaking this pot. I have two more small ones that actually I cut off of this one. As you can see, it's probably time to trim this back some more and put it into some separate pots, but my god, it is just majestic and gorgeous and my two favorite colors on top of that. Mwah. Now, the next plant I wanna show you, we have a compost heap in the backyard, another uh, quarantine project type of thing. And I walked outside to put some more stuff on the pile. And there was this really pretty plant that had sprouted right in the middle. And when I sort of dug it up, it was an avocado seed that had sprouted. And so I'm gonna grow an avocado tree. When we moved to LA, the first day that we woke up in LA after having move it, moved there the day before, I decided to go for a run outside and on the sidewalk I encountered some stray avocados and I was like, oh no, somebody's bag of groceries has burst and they've lost their avocados. Avocados are expensive. Maybe I should knock on the door and say, hey, I found your avocados. But then I sort of looked up and their tree was just full of avocados. And I was like, oh, we are in the land of plenty. To have a tree in my home or in my yard, I don't know where it's gonna end up, that gives me avocados for free, would be really cool. Here we have my little skinny avocado tree. And it really truly has just grown so huge in the past month. Um, I think it really likes being inside, so um, I'm gonna leave it in here. Down here, I'll show you the little babies that I have. These are cut, oh, can you can you get it together? Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha. These four here are all cuttings from a Kalancho, which got really leggy. You'll see it in a little while. I'm very ashamed of her, but we're trying our best. In these little pots, they rooted without their 
mama plant. This here is a mother of pearl or ghost succulent, a little baby one that ended up separate from the other big boys that I have, which I will also show you in a minute. And they all were on the front porch, but now they've come inside because I don't want them to get cold and frostbitten. Let me show you some of my other sweet, beautiful babies. Right here, I wanna show you my string of pearls. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Yes, I love this plant. I just, mm, 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 mm. no words. Look at that, majesty, majestic. Oh, this little spider was in Ara's hair for her Halloween costume, so it just ended up there. I was really inspired to find one of these after seeing Jenna's in her plant video. Isn't she gorgeous? Here is a selection of succulents that I obtained from a mailing club called Succulent Club or something like that. It ended up being too expensive after the introductory offer, so I don't get any more of them, but this one is a bronze sedum something. This one is a moon something. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know the names of these guys. And this one, gorgeous little purpley thing. So I have them in a pot, which I obtained from a lovely elderly lady that lives around the corner. And they hardly ever need any watering because they're succulents. Aren't they beautiful? I love it. This is a dancing bones cutting. My dad gave me it. I love that it looks like a little tree. And then I have a couple of these little hen and chicks. I have one more outside in a separate pot that is gonna go right here very soon. And you see there's leaves because they were all outside a while back. They all recently just came inside because it got cold. Back there we have what I think is called a Tokyo Sun and it's a ground cover plant. So it's the kind of plant where if the conditions are right outside, you can just put it in your yard and it will just go crazy and cover the ground like grass. I just think it's so pretty, so I hope it takes off. Right next to that little arrangement, I have my jade plant. This is also a cutting from my dad and it really has just exploded. It used to be just this little top portion that you see here and it is growing some new bits down there at the bottom. It did get scorched by the sun. You can see we're rehabbing her. Here are some more of the ghost or mother of pearl cutting. There's another one over there. These are all from my dad as well. This is a repurposed candle and I'm trying to see which of them is gonna root. They are still kind of attached to these little stick things, but all of this is such a work in progress, really and truly. Here we have the most healthy and beautiful of my Kalancho baby cuttings. This one here has such cute little new growths coming off of it and it is very, very happy here. I'm hoping this will be one of the ones I can get to flower like the original Mama Kalancho was flowering these gorgeous reddish orange things when I was gifted it from my coworker at Starbucks. Here is one of the plants that our neighbor gifted us and this is a classic snake plant. I mean, it barely has asked me for anything in the past, I guess, several months that we've had it. I've had it up in this window and it seems to be very happy. I water it like once a month. It's awesome. Now, in addition to that big boy snake plant that I just showed you, I also have a few over here. Usually they live in my laundry room window area. This one here is showing some new healthy leaves, which really resemble the big one that's in the window. This one here, same thing. So cute. I believe this one here is a heart leaf philodendron and I was traded this cute little cutie, which only had one or two leaves when I got it, or some books or something from a neighbor. So cute. In this window over here, I have a cylindrical snake plant which is so, so cool. I just love the shape of it. And I actually didn't know that it was a type of snake plant until I decided to film this video. And I started making a list of all the plants that I had and I had to use an app to take a picture of it and figure out what exactly it was. As you can see, I mean, very tall, very handsome. And I don't know what happened here with all these little nubs and all the little sort of scarred areas. This one was one of the gifts from my neighbor, and so maybe it had some trauma beforehand. I just don't know. This leaf here is unfurled, so I don't know if that means that the plant is unhappy. I mean, maybe, mm -hmm. but it's gorgeous and it's cool. 
So next to me is this windowsill here where I have the Mama Calancho that I was telling you about, a Mexican snowball in there, which is also from the Succulent Club, and a donkey's tail or burro tail stuff. Succulent? Yes. I should have had more coffee today. We're talking geometry. She's giving you rosettes. She's giving you shapes. She's giving you life. Get into it, mama. My little Mexican snowball. So cute. And she, I, I, I don't know what happened here. Oh my God. What is that? I just don't know. She's not rooted and it's just a little, <laughs> I just don't understand. I don't understand what happened. But you can see where I cut off all the heads, there's new growth. And right here especially, look how cute. Maybe she'll make a comeback, only time will tell. This one here is called an umbrella plant. I believe it's a dwarf umbrella plant. And isn't it cute? All of the fronds or leaves, whatever you wanna call these, were very, very pale, almost yellow when we got it. But I guess the fact that they've darkened up means that they're Happy? I just think it's so cute and a nice shape, so it's happy. Also, a gift from our neighbor. Editing Catherine here. I forgot these plants that are in my kitchen windowsill. These are some more aloe vera from my dad, and they are the most freckly boys and are good, 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 good boys. There's a little baby one growing up right there, it's so cute. Okay, and this one is from the Succulent Club as well in the best, li literally the best flower pot that I have. And I had to show it to you because I love it so much, isn't it cute? It's a fucking flamingo. Um, this is from Succulent Club. It is called uh, Echeveria rosea or Echeveria rosy, and it looks like little girly cabbage leaves. When it's in the direct sunlight, the edges of it get pinky and purple, but it hasn't been for a while now, and so it's more green, uh, but it is gorgeous. So yeah, that's, that's all my plants, yeah. The next two plants that I'm gonna show you, one of which is my favorite because of the potential that it has, not because of who she is today. And I'm sure we all know somebody like that in our lives. Here we have two gorgeous jungle queens. I wanna show you this one, which was also a gift from our neighbor and came in this gorgeous pot. Thank you so much, Sheila. If the app that I searched it on is correct, this is a queen of the night cactus, which is also known as a night blooming ser serious. I had it in the window where it was getting a lot of sunlight. And then after I found out what kind of plant it was last night, I moved it into a different room because it's not supposed to get such bright direct sunlight. It does have these little places here where it would offshoot uh, some new fronds and oh my gosh, it has the potential to bloom these gorgeous white flowers that apparently smell amazing and so I really want to do a better job of taking care of her. The next plant I'm going to show you is a cutting I got from my mom. Now her plant like this lives on the back of her toilet so for whatever reason I just decided that's where mine needed to live too. <laughs> Here we have what is known as a Christmas cactus and as you can see we have got some little, little baby blooms coming. I'm so excited. One there. I'm really hoping that this one is happy. It does have a handful of new growth, growth, growths, leaves, whatever. It did not have all of these little ones when I got it from her or these that have split off here. So I'm really happy with it. And I can't wait for it to bloom. That would just make me so happy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were inspired. Anybody can keep plants. You don't have to be good at it. I mean, clearly it's a learning process, but we do our best. And you know, it's about the little things that make us happy in life and seeing these plants thrive and flourish and surprise me in new different ways. I just realized that this one here has a little, Hello, friend. Oh my god, she's a mother. Good job, honey. What was I just saying about my plants bringing me joy? Because holy crap, that is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Thanks for watching me nerd out about my plants. Please subscribe and um, click on some of my other videos if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks. See you later. Bye.